right, for the last group of the sliders, we're going to start with a lateral lunge position, OK? So we've got one foot on the middle of the slider here. Nice upright position. And as I lunge, instead of going your traditional reverse or forward lunge, we're going to go out. So as I go down, I'm trying to keep head and chest up, extend that leg. So this leg's going to stay straight. And the goal here with this leg, we're using this glute as our prime mover. And I want to focus on keeping all these joints in a nice straight line. So shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle see nice and straight. So if I were to drop a plumb line down, they'd be relatively straight. A lot of people kind of kick that knee out or the knee drops in, or the hip drops out. That's a popular one. But really want to try to focus on keeping these nice and straight as I go down, OK? I'd rather sacrifice a little depth for that good alignment, OK? So that's the first exercise. Obviously, we do both sides. Then we're going to go into a more challenging push-up position. <clears throat> we're going to have hands on the sliders here, OK? As I go down into my push-up, I'm going to extend one arm out. And you're only limited by your creativity. You can go straight out. You can go out to the side. Out, down to the side. So I'll just show a few more of a Y position here. So as I go down, I'm going to extend one arm and then come back up, other arm, back up. So again, you can change those angles as you go. Just going to target those muscles a little bit diff differently. Okay. Last exercise is going to be a seal walk. So I'm just going to transition these to the back. Feet, balls of the feet in the middle of your sliders, push up position. Okay. Abs are braced. I like to turn the hands out slightly, whatever is most comfortable for those wrists and shoulders. I like that slight hand turn here. It's a little bit more shoulder friendly. Nice neutral spine, and we're just going to walk it on out.